So I know this looks nasty. Well, I mean, it kind of is. But so we went to turn our tub on, our bathtub on. We started getting this really yellow, well, this color, orangey water coming out. And at first we thought, man, that's some pretty bad iron or something like that that's coming out of here. But no, it's not. If you go down here and you touch it, it feels like sand, right? Well, the only thing in our house that I know would do this would be our water softener. And these are the little pellets or the little beads that are in your water softener that actually catch the hard portions of your water to make it soft. It looks like our water softener busted, so we're gonna have to go outside and bypass it. So this is our water softener. We've had it for probably a good 12 to 15 years. It serviced us well, but if you need to bypass, basically you you should have something like this, some kind of bypass system that came with your water softener because you do need to be able to have some kind of bypass. So this on ours, you push it in. It hasn't been bypassed in a long time. So that pushes in and that basically should say no longer run water through the water softener. Now just run water straight through the loop and back into the house. So this should have cut off water going to the water softener. All right, so I bypassed the water softener and we have this thing on and, and I'm just trying to drain the lines. It's not like I can do much else with it. Now we're getting clear water again. Uh, no, I still feel beads in that water. So we're gonna have to let this water run a little bit. Hopefully this flushes out the line uh, and gets that out of there because if not, we can have buildup somewhere and that could clog up little small orifices uh, for small things like, uh, let's say ice makers, things like that in your house. You can get issues with that uh, because they'll clog things up and then you have to turn around and start replacing things. So we're gonna go around the house and I'm gonna let this run for a while. Hopefully this would be the only thing that would be majorly affected, um, but we're gonna have to go around the house and look at what else could have got affected by this. All right, so I pulled the top of our water softener off. If you can see here, it, it actually just snaps on. It's very, very easy to take off on most of these. So I pulled that off, just throw that right there. And I came and I took off the uh, clips for this bypass valve. So this bypass valve goes into the back of the head of, of most of these water softeners. You'll have something like this. Well, I took the clips out. There's two black clips on this one that hold that in there. And as you can see, our, you know, our water is on right now uh, in the house. It's because we have this in bypass, which makes the water just go back into the loop and not go to the water softener at all. If we pulled this valve out, then water would just start squirting out of these, out of these tubes here. But we're bypassing right now because we have to get this old water softener out of here and get the new one in. So we went to Home Depot and just picked us up uh, another water softener. This is a Ream uh, 42,000 grain. Uh, it's a decent sized water softener, something appropriate size for our house. But I, I went to get this and I opened up the box already and I took out the package that has the bypass valve and everything in it because I need to make sure that it's going to fit with the new hoses that I bought. Uh, the hoses that you can bend and hook up. Uh, if you read them, they usually say uh, one time use only because once you bend them, uh, they don't want you bending them a bunch, they'll crack. So we're gonna test out these uh, bypass valve that comes with this one and make sure it fits the, the hoses we got. So these are the hoses that I ordered. Uh, I got these off of Amazon, it was a good price. Uh, I tried to pick up some of these at Home Depot. One, they did not have ones that had threaded connections on both ends. Uh, they had one that was threaded and then it had a shark bite connection on the other end. But when I was reading the water softener specs, it did not have an end on it that would be shark bite. So I'm assuming they meant for that to be like the loop in your garage. So we've already had a water softener installed. So we already have uh, a threaded shutoff valve on there and then the other return part into the house is threaded. So I needed uh, hoses that are one inch in size and double thread, one on, uh, thread on each side. So anyways, this was a great deal. This was for two of them. It was the same price as for one of them at Home Depot. So 
This worked out great getting these off of Amazon. I'll put a link to these down below. Your loops in your garage may not be one inch. You need to look at what size your loop is. Ours in the garage, I think, are one and a quarter inch pipes. And they have uh, one inch threads put on, uh, soldered on the ends of those. So, because we have a copper loop. But, uh, yeah, so this should work on our loop. But I'm going to make sure that it works with the shutoff valve that comes with this water softener because our last water softener actually had a three quarter inch shutoff valve so it was um it would not have worked with this we had a one inch to a three quarter inch uh piping to the back of that because it had to be done that way but that also cuts down the flow of the water going into your house so now if you have more than one shower running things of that nature you start losing uh the amount of flow that you need so uh, I bought the proper one inches that was, should have been put on our home and we bought a water softener. I'm going to test it with this one. All right, so if the uh, bugs around here won't stop making tons of noise. Anyway, so this is the new bypass valve that came with the new water softener. And these are the new, um, I guess, adapters or connections that uh, connect into this, right? So they... They go into here and then they connect with those uh, clips. But this is a one inch pipe thread adapter and that's why I needed the one inch uh, pipes. So I'm gonna go ahead and thread them on and make sure they work. It's kinda neat, this one even came with just a hardness test kit. I don't think our last one came with that. All right, so there they are. As you can see that they did work. This was a one inch thread, one inch uh, fitting for the pipe. And like I said, the ones we have on the house go down to a three quarter inch because the last water softener for some reason had three quarter inch connections and not the one inch connection. So, you know, we did lose some flow of water, but now uh, since I'm replacing it, I'm putting the proper one inch on there. Hopefully that will help us out when we have more than one shower going and things of that nature. But, but anyways, that fit good. And here's the other water bypass. This is a water softener bypass. So I'm actually gonna install all of these pieces. I'm not keeping anything from the old one, uh, just to make sure that we get the best flow out of this new water softener. All right, so I pulled the water softener away. As you can see here, we have the water softener down here and we moved it. I used a, a dolly to put underneath it and move it because it still had some salt and water in it. Then I took off the old lines. So these, this is the loop that was here for the house. You know, normally this would have just been a copper loop going across and then we would have just had the two uh, drains there, the clean out and then the, the drain. But we had this installed previously. We had one put in, so they put in the P-trap loop and then they put in uh, this water turnoff. I think that's code, I'm not 100% sure, but they put that in and then they sweat in new couplings and from what I remember, I think they said this was one and a quarter inch copper pipe, but they sweat in one inch connectors, which I mean, I guess is fine. But what they had before here was they had a one inch thread here with a three quarter inch pipe. Then it had three quarter inch threads here and they put in three quarter inch uh, pieces here. Now I got a little bit of a, a leak dripping here from the bypass valve so I need to figure that one out before I put it all back together but this one had it luckily came with one inch connectors here so I used one inch pipes to give us better flow throughout the house better water flow so now I'm going to reconnect this to the new water softener after I find out why this uh, shutoff valve is leaking a little bit here all right and that's it it's actually pretty easy to install a water softener um, the main part is all the plumbing right because once you get your loop put together and your hose is done and then you got your bypass valve it literally just sticks into the back of the water softener connects and you're ready to go i mean you program a couple settings in here very easy you know read the manual it just tells you what to do but basically the instructions i think are here but anyway so very easy to install they're not that heavy when uh, when they're empty, but you know once you start filling it with salt and water, then it's going to get heavy. But so make sure you have it in the place you want it to be. But yeah, I mean, very simple.
very simple to install so these don't really need that much of an install video uh, but the plumbing just needs to be right that, that's the key make sure you use the largest size pipes that you possibly can that fit in with your loop or you're going to be cutting off some of your water flow into your home uh, but that's it